If you were wondering what exactly was the plan for the future of the Snyderverse and how did the Flash originally factor into it, well you don't have to wonder anymore because we know the details and the actual post credit scene that was scrapped for the final version of the film. And this thing would have definitely made a lot of Snyder fans happy. Okay, so according to all reports, majority of The Flash was going to more or less be the same, although it was going to feature more cameos. Obviously, Henry Cavill's extended Superman sequence that was completely cut. But on top of this, we now learn exactly what the ending of the original cut of the film was when Henry Cavill, for example, was still a part of the bigger plan going forward. So the ending of the original film sees Barry Allen get back to the very same universe he left, but some problems have transpired since he's been uh, messing around with the multiverse and he was missing. He then sees all of his monitors start to flash and Ben Affleck's Batman appears on the screen and he says he doesn't know if this message will ever find Barry wherever he is but he hopes it does because he needs to hurry back and get back to us he needs to find them and he urges Barry to come find us because there is a major threat coming, a dark side that looms. And it's at this point that Barry says, oh, and as he goes to say F, it does the Spider-Man thing where it cuts off to a black screen. So obviously the intent here was to continue to tease the Justice League working together during the time that Barry was missing. Things have happened. The invasion is obviously on route. And uh, they were getting ready to put the team back together and, uh, well, stop Darkseid and his minions that are coming after them. So pretty wild to know that this was shot and ultimately cut and replaced with uh, other stuff towards the end. But once again, this would have uh, been the old holdover. So you could see why ultimately this was all scrapped and they went the direction that they did. 